Let's talk about such a fantastic landscape painter. She also shows us the process of the underpainting. Under, 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 that's the real one. Under, 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 that's the real one. So here's the thing, I've talked about this before. I don't love landscape, because most landscape is just like green or God forbid brown. Like I don't want to look at that, but this is purple and red and oh, so good. All the tiny little details, purple mountains. These are by Kristen Ross. So this is an underpainting. So you just keep doing layers and layers of paint. And honestly, some of the underpaintings I like more than the finished product because I love reds and, r and oranges. And that typically is the colors that she uses for underpainting. So I'm like, ooh, this is the real one. It looks more real. I like the red one. She underpaints with fluorescent paints. <gasps> this is the process of her painting. Okay, it's getting a little more exciting. Ooh, we're gonna lose the red soon. So that's kind of sad. Here's the fluorescent version and the finished one. It looks like a fake little colorful world, which is the best. But as I'm thinking about it, the world is really big. So maybe there are mountains and like greenery places that look like this, but I don't think so. Are there? 